painkiller OS isn't the problem. It's Khalil. He created this safe harbor inside of what he thinks is his bedroom. And now he won't come out. But if he's in there, it'll at least keep him alive, right? Unfortunately, no. Unless Khalil reclaims control of his brain, his most basic body functions, including breathing, will soon stop working. Okay, you know what? TC, you need to go back in there. Okay, do whatever you have to do. Tell him I'll be here. Tell him I love him. I don't care what you tell him. Just get him out of here. Hey, hey, I've tried. But talking to people isn't exactly my, my strong suit. So why can't Jen do it? She already zapped dude's brain with electricity, right? It's not that simple. For her to do this, she would have to channel herself into pure energy. All I know is, I seen her make bullets go through her body. Sound like pure energy to me. Is that true, Jen? Have you learned to control your powers to that extent? Yeah, if I concentrate. Then Brandon's right. As pure energy, you could become a current directly into the chip. And I can guide that current to Galil. All right, cool. Let's do it. Well, well, not so fast. Not so fast, Jen. There's a there's a danger here. You see, TC is not actually in there. He's just virtual. But if you become energy and go inside, you're actually inside Khalil's mind. And if he shuts down with you in there, then you're dead too. It's too risky, Jen. I, I won't allow you to put yourself into that kind of danger. Look, I'm me. Now, listen to me, Jen. The realization of the things he's done would depress anybody. He killed his own mother. What? Odell put that chip in his head and programmed him to take out his own mom. So you're saying he's suicidal? He very well could be. Uncle Gamby, I know you're worried about me. And I appreciate it, but I can. And I will take care of myself. If I see any sign, there's no hope. I'll get out. Khalil would do the same thing for me.